Greetings to all of you. This is the first class and in this class we will discuss history perspective of electrical machines. Okay. The first electric motor is invented by Andrew Garden and Benjamin Franklin in 1740. Okay. This motor works on the principles of attractions and repulsions of electric charges. Okay. The conventional magnetic machines will be attractions and repulsions of magnets. right? Here the electrostatic motor works on the attractions and repulsions of electric charges just dual to the magnetic machines, but this is the motor which was invented initially that is in 1740. Uh, Andrew Garden and Benjamin Franklin did the experiment with high voltage DC as the input. This high voltage DC is generated with uh, Van de Graaff generators. At present we can generate with simple power converters like rectifiers and DC DC converters and etcetera. And this high voltage DC positive is connected to the one end of the stator like this side this is the one electrode of the stator which is connected to the positive and other side other electrode of a stator is connected to the negative side of the supply and rotor also consists of electrodes like four electrodes it has and the nearest elect rotor electrode with respect to the stator electrode will be ionized or it is positively charged. Okay. And similarly at the negative side the electrode near to the stator negatively charged electrode will be as a negatively charged one and depends upon the attractions and repulsions of the these charges this motor will work. Okay. And the uh, direction of the rotation depends upon the placement and angle of the electrodes on the rotor or we can use the Fleming's left hand rule with duality to get the direction of rotation. And this kind of machines we are utilizing in micro electro mechanical systems like micro electrostatic actuators. Christian Ostrad discovered the relation between the electricity and magnetism in 1820. He did the experiment with current carrying conductor and magnetic needles. In this experiment he observed that the deflection in the magnetic needle when the current uh, is flowing through the conductor that we can observe in this animation. Okay. As per the thumb rule like the thumb represents the uh, current and the fingers represents the magnetic fields. So, the as per this thumb rule or cork screw rule we can identify the flux directions and because of this current carrying conductor the deflection in magnetic needle is happening here. This Astard invention gives the direction to explore the revolutionary things with respect to Faraday's, Ampere's and Tesla and Maxwell and other inventors. After that in 1820 Ampere invented the first solenoid. Based upon the principles of Ostrad, he did the experiment with solenoid where the multiple coils he connected in conductors connected in series to make the coil and he presented the uh, magnetic field with respect to the solenoid or the magnetic field is enhanced with respect to the single conductor. And he also proposed a or invented a Ampere's law where the Ampere's law gives the relation between the magnetic field and current which is acting as a source of it. Okay. The in detail about the Ampere's law we will discuss in the coming lectures. In 1825, William Sturgeon invented the electromagnet, first electromagnet is invented in 1825. What he did is based on the invention of ampere in order to increase the magnetic field or in order to enhance the magnetic field he just introduced a iron core that, uh, that is here shown as in green color. Okay. We can observe from this figure. Okay. The iron core 
will gives the less resistance for the magnetic fields ok. Whereas, free air in the ampere's invention gives the more resistance for the magnetic field that is the difference between the ampere's and sturgeon's invention. So, if we will see the equation at the right hand side B equals to mu naught uh, mu naught mu r into n into i ok. Here mu r is the relative permeability of the core which will enhance the magnetic field ok that is the invention. The actual setup with respect to the electromagnet we can see in this image and this is the simplified electromagnet. And next in 1821 Michael Faraday invented the first electromagnetic motor uh, that is called as a homopolar motor also. When a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field it experiences a force ok. So, he concluded from his experiment this thing ok and in 18 to same year he presented the principles of electromagnetic induction also ok. They, the pictures showing at the right side this one as well as this one are the actual experiment setup with respect to the Michael Faraday and this is the simplified setup. Here we can see that battery is the source and the current is flowing through the coil copper wire and after that this is the blue color one is the rod and through the salt water or mercury and then the electrode the black color one is the electrode and flowing back to the source and the green color one is the magnet. So, the current carrying conductor will exhibit the magnetic field right. So, that magnetic field is source 1 and the other source is the green color one permanent magnet. So, based upon the attractions and repulsion it will experience a force in orbital uh, circular manner around the magnet that is the direction is shown in the blue color dotted one here. And after that in 1828 Jed Leak and in 1833 William Sturgeon or proposed the or invented the first commutated rotating electrical mission. Even though Jedlik is the first inventor of the first uh, commutated rotating mission, their uh, inventions are not documented, uh, but William Sturgeon parallelly did the research and documented about the first commutated rotating electrical mission in 1833. As per the Jedlik uh, experiment we can see the image at the left hand side and this is the coil one ok simplified coil one that is stator stationary part and the coil two which is rotating part here we can see that coil uh, coils are distributed ok and commutator is there in between and as per the Oster's principles as well as thumb, thumbs rule we can see the flux lines are flowing in this manner with respect to the direction here and the current flowing in this manner and coming back like this. And similarly here also as per the same thumb rule the current is entering into the coil and the magnetic field in this direction ok. So, the first uh, coil if we will consider which is thumb is in indicating the magnetic field and current is flowing in this manner fingers ok just I am considering in a opposite manner actual thumb rule will be thumb indicating the current and uh, flux lines are uh, represented by fingers right. Now, you consider in a opposite manner and then you will get this thing. Similarly, here also just for easy understanding the coil one which is stationary I am representing with the magnetic poles north and south ok and the second one the coil which is rotating along with the commutators we can uh, have represented in this manner. So, based upon the attraction between the opposite uh, poles north and south and repulsion between the same poles we can see here and based on that principle the rotor is rotating or this complete coil set is rotating ok. Once the coil 2 reached this position or instant 2 ok, here south and north in the attraction mode and bottom side also south and north in the attraction mode there is a magnetic locking ok 
further there is no rotation. To make the continuous rotation here the commutators okay, the blue color one the commutators will change the current direction flowing through the these two coils. Then the poles will be reversed then again repulsions and attractions will happen. So, motor will rotate continuously this is the principle of DC motor the first uh, invention related to the electromagnetic missions done by the William Sturgeon we can see in this slide. After that huge research happened from 1832 to 1890 in 1832 the first AC current generator is uh, invented by Hippolyte Pixie where he did the experiment with permanent magnet by rotating uh, with a hand crank over a coil will induce a current in that coil okay, that is the AC, first AC generated invented in the year 1832. After that Walter Bailey invented the first manual switching induction motor in 1879 okay, instead of commutators he manually switched the uh, coil excitations and he invented the manual switching AC induction motor. Later in 1885 to 1889 and 1889 to 90 the Nicholas Tesla and Galileo Faris and uh, Michael Dolivo invented the induction motors. The first induction motor proposed by or invented by Nicholas Tesla and Galileo Ferres that is on two phase induction motors which works on the principles of mutual induction with respect to the Faraday's laws. And uh, in 1890 the same mission is updated with uh, three phase cage as well as squirrel cage induction motors by Michael Dolivo. The principles of induction motor is simple and same as the DC motors, but the rotor and stator are interchanged now earlier this coil was acting as a stator now this coil is acting as a rotator uh, rotor it is rotating okay and it is a closed conductor and stator side we have a two coils and we are applying with ac supply okay so, as per the thumb rule we can get the magnetic field distribution at the stator coils as well as the rotor uh, coil. Like stator coils as per the thumb rule the current is entering where the current I am representing with the fingers and flux lines in this direction and uh, in the rotor side same way as per the current direction we can say that uh, at the top side okay, at the top side you see the current is flowing from left to right right. So, you consider the thumb rule in this direction opposite to me maybe then you will see the flux lines are coming from top to bottom okay. and the pole uh, representation I have shown at the left side corner and the stator side we have the uh, south and north pole combination and the stator side uh, north and south okay, based upon the attractions and repulsion motor is working. Okay. After the uh, this instant the next instant will happen in this manner like where south and north as well as right side south and north will form a magnetic locking. So, because of the AC supply to the stator coils automatically the, po uh, the poles will be changed to this instant. Okay. So, again the north and north will repel each other and south and south will repel each other the direction of rotation will be identified by utilizing the Fleming's left hand rule. So, this is the principle of induction motor or I can say that based upon the AC supply excitation there is a rotating magnetic field at the uh, uh, stator core and this rotating magnetic field will link to the spheral cage or closed coils at the rotor side there is an induced current because of this induced currents there is a magnetic fields at the rotor side the interaction of these two fields will create the force that is the principle of induction motor. 
and based upon the inventions like after this 1890 also huge inventions happened at present also lot of research is going on the in the area of electrical missions. These are the few missions as of now the presented missions the DC motors and AC motors and other type of motors with respect to the electromagnetic uh, type and other type will be electrostatic and then static missions are transformers and in the DC motor type wound field in that category series shunt compound and separately excited and instead of wound field permanent magnet field excitation also we can utilize it this is the permanent magnet type of DC motors and in the AC motors synchronous asynchronous and reluctance missions and in the other type of motors we can see universal motors which works on both AC as well as DC servo motors and vernier permanent magnet motors and hybrid motors and etcetera. Thank you this is the history prospective of the electrical missions.